Hey everybody, it's the Last Robokai here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Majesty HD. This time we're doing Quest for the Crown, the last of the three questy related things, which apparently all involve your kingdom being horribly screwed up in some way, and you having to get an item in order to uh, make everything better. And uh, boy howdy, is this one uh, is this one a doozy? And uh, joining me as always, hey you guys, it's Cool Guy, and I I'm actually kind of looking forward to this one because it's the last advanced mission. So right after this one, the game really takes its kid gloves off. And I'm Orv, and after this mission, I start playing the game correctly. <laughs> he does, he does. I, I, I'm, and you're going to hear me stop screwing with, uh, with him. That's going to be a, a, a real change. Yeah, we, we'll stop, we all stop playing footsies in, uh, in, in some regard with the mechanics of the game, because it does not pull any punches, and this one especially is uh, here to teach you some very important mechanics and to make sure that you don't forget about them before you get in. Uh, speaking of getting in, let's get straight to it. An enlightening discovery, your highness. The crown of Sidrian, the long lost symbol of your family's power, has been located. It's being held in an evil fortress on the frontier. The recent waves of monster attacks have left your people dispirited. Reclaiming this item would doubtlessly boost your subjects' faith and renew the support of your family's house. I greatly urge you to take advantage of this unexpected opportunity. To shit lightning all over the place. Yes, indeed. Because this game right here is going to be teaching you something very important, and that is use your global abilities. And the re way it's going to do this is, uh, well, as you can see, we've only got, we've got a few things to start building, and the game is already attacking us with quite a large swarm of minotaurs. And what I that basically means is, pleasure. well, you're not going to get any heroes capable of fighting those straight away. So what you need is you need to get your level 2 wizard skill to level 3 and hit them with lightning storm, because take a look at this. That's... That's a lot of dead balls. That seems excessive. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Minot the Minotaurs, it is not... It is not at all. And those those Wizards Towers are basically there to make sure no matter where those Minotaurs come from, you can lightning the ever-loving shit out of them. Speaking of... And they will... They will... Yep, they will come under peril, and so you actually, like, normally I would say, you know, who cares about Wizards Towers, but it is actually kind of important that you keep it standing, so... That's a lot of damage. <laughs> also, just kind of important you don't let that many balls up into your business. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, I wasn't kidding about there being a lot of Minotaurs, by the way. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, like, wait to, like, build, like, Paladins or anything. We need to get, you need to get, like, an armed force up and going, and, uh... Holy crap, it's, and it is quite costly to throw around a whole lot of lightning storms, so... You want to make every single one count. You don't want to just do it on a single lone Minotaur if you can help it. You want to, like... Smush it in a group because this is costly stuff, and you've still got to get your kingdom set up. Sixteen hundred gold a shot. So yeah, that it's uh, it's it's not it's not at all easy. But yeah, the the thing about minotaurs is just they hit so damn hard. Like, and they're very aggressive. If, if you look at the um, at the tooltip on them, it outright tells you. Yeah, these guys will constantly seek to challenge your kingdom. They're not just going to destroy one thing and screw off. They're going to continue to burn shit down until you kill them. Now we got the paladins. On a related going. note. <laughs> yeah. Once you get the paladins up and going, it becomes slightly more bearable, because if there's one thing a paladin likes, it's a challenge. But the heavy lifting is primarily going to be done by our wizard's guild. It's going to be the savior of the game. Yeah, I'm... I'm Fairly certain that uh, that uh, that this scenario is unwinnable without using without using the wizard's guild heavily. There's just no time to get anything else up and running. <laughs> yeah, well, the very first thing that happens is they start slapping the shit out of your rogues and warriors' guild. So it's like, well, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work. You definitely need to get that thing. You need to get that wizard's guild. Like that, the very first thing you need to do on the stage, get that thing to level three. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't it doesn't require peasantry to do that. Yeah, the other, uh, the other great thing about, uh, about the wizard's guild. Yeah, the, those those tower enchantments save so much freaking time. Those minotaurs are still doing a considerable amount of damage. Uh. Yes, and they do not stop. You're you're basically basically at war with these 
jerks the whole time. <laughs> I imagine these are this these are the waves of monster attacks that have left your people dispirited because holy crap, that would demoralize me. Yeah, yeah like every every time you step outside the door. Oh, oh another minotaur because it's minotaur clock again. <laughs> I know the perspective is a little off on this game, but these minotaurs are like a story tall. Yeah, they're they're big. You know, I mean, you can just take a look at how much damage that dude is doing to the rogues guild. He's been unattended for maybe like. 45 seconds, and uh, yeah, he's nearly torn that thing to shreds. Yeah, I'm like, I really don't want to have to rebuild anything, so I'm just like, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, okay. thank God. He, yeah, I was just like, uh, don't want to spend this money, I want to use it to buy more heroes. Because once, once you get your, your heroes up and running, it becomes, it becomes a fair bit more bearable, but... Still nothing to sneeze at. Look at that. Dead monk. Dead monk. Elves! Fuck. Ha ha. Well, I can always use the money. I, I complain about elves because elves, but they're still probably the strongest race in the entire game just because they give you more dosh. If they would just man up and use scimitars, everything would be okay. Ha! A newly discovered outpost has agreed to join your kingdom. Yeah. Although, although I will, I will freely admit that these things aren't exactly Colin, the best place. Uh, yeah. We're gonna see a lot of suffering come this way. Yeah, you basically yeah, taking them off the repair route, are you? Mm -hmm. I thought about it and I thought, no, I really need my peasants at my base repairing my wizard's tower. Oh no! <laughs> Trolled. Where is he going? Where is he going? Uh, well, it's not. I don't know. It's not an. It's not an in a caravan or a marketplace. Therefore, he's not interested. He just gets very bored and just leaves. It is worth noting, though, that uh, since you can discover elves on this map, if you are, if you were to somehow get your blacksmith up to level three before you discover the, you discover the elves and then recruited dwarves, you could totally have both on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's something that uh, that will happen in a later, uh, a later mission I'll play. It, it's a, it's actually like a big deal in in a couple other in a couple other missions because it's just it's just like okay, this mission is so hard that it legitimately requires that uh, that you're going to need the benefits of both. <laughs> yeah, that's that is the problem. You get you get all these shiny new places, but unfortunately the Minotaurs are pretty much gonna start pooping on them. Yeah. And I mean you could put up a wizard's tower there, but I need the money for lightning storm. <laughs> I I basically we, we talk about again density versus being spread out. I always build my kingdoms very thick, very dense. I do not I do not like to be further away from the castle. They, they are just a lot easier to handle that uh, that way. Um, the other option that you can do there is to build a second a second warrior's guild, so when dudes show up, you can just use call to arms. But what do you want to populate with uh, that with? You know, paladins? So that's 4,000 gold on top of the building costs. It'll probably be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it'll be fine in, the, in that, you know, a bull will come, uh, will come along and turn the elves into hamburger instead of, you know, the other way around. Yeah. Now, uh, this this one does go for quite a while because, well, the primary thing is, is that you are going to be building up your strength for when you get the crown. Because as as the previous two scenarios have shown us, getting the MacGuffin makes horrible things happen. <laughs> and you can probably already tell, since the theme of the map is Minotaurs, that horrible thing is going to be even more Minotaurs. And you might say. Well, Robokai, you've already shown that you can handle the Minotaurs, and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But that's a fucking lot of Minotaurs we're going to be seeing. Let me tell you something. It's just going to be like, Minotaurs were on discount or something, and like some someone just went through and bought all of them, and then dropped them here. Quaid, get the crown. Start the Minotaur reactor. <laughs> all I'm saying is we're not we're not going to need. We're not gonna need any food for the peasantry because they're all just gonna be eating beef for like years. I, you would be surprised how reluctant the peasantry are to eat man beef. <laughs> well, just just say, just say like, all right, this is it. You're not you're not getting any food besides this. It's a little warm up, dude. Seriously, rebuilding yeah, like, the rogues guild is like 550 gold. Yeah, but you know, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to lose a building. I don't, you know, it makes me look bad. To be fair, it does go on your, uh, it does go on your permanent record as such. I feel 
Oh god, that freaking ranger. <laughs> he is so incredibly dead. Oh no, yeah, okay. Paladin ran away. That is one dead. Hey, potions. Oh, hey, potions. It shows how much I know about this. He survived! Well, good for you, Denel the Frontiersman. Yeah, they, he, knew, he knew he could make it. He had he had potions. They will they will hang around if they know they can take a quick cloth and keep themselves in the game. <laughs> otherwise otherwise he would have he would have run for the hills, I'm sure. I hope so. I all, all Ranger Rangers, despite the fact of the fact that they're they're supposed to be like rugged survivalists, they make some pretty dumb decisions at times. <laughs> Well, to be fair, the wilderness here doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Just miles and miles of balls. Like, what kind of an ecosystem supports minotaurs of this number? There is none. I don't even know what they, they what, eat. What do minotaurs in this setting even eat? Do they eat, like, <laughs> are they, like, the carnivorous minotaur? Do they crave crave to eat human flesh? And if so, like, <laughs> you know, like, you saw how big our kingdom was when we started. They were they were going to run themselves out of a food source pretty quick. They were, they're, they're, they're actually the grazing minotaurs, and, you know, the, the, the stinky two legs just really, really pissed them off. Well, we are building it on all the grass, whereas they're coming from, like, the desert areas. So I could totally understand that, I suppose. This is, this is a matter of the RNG just sort of knowing. <laughs> The, it is uh, accidentally an entire ecosystem. <laughs> Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Two level three marketplaces. You're serious about this density thing, dude? Uh, yeah. I'm like, I kind of regret doing that, really. But whatever. I just, <laughs> I kind of just want the tax collector to just rub, rub all the money on me. Yeah. The math here, for uh, for those of you wondering what I'm on about, is. Marketplaces give a slightly variable in income based upon how many how many houses you have in your the, your palace level. But at the base level, it's some it's somewhere be uh, between I think it's two hundred and three uh, three hundred gold per day. Elves straight double that, which is why which is why they're good. Um, but then every time you upgrade the marketplace, you get another one hundred gold on on top of that, give or take, for the one thousand dollar initiation fee. That means that, you know, while Marketplace Level 2 is arguably a good a good investment due to the extra HP, Marketplace Level 3 only really makes sense if you if you intend to be around for 20 or more days or you have a um, a trading post going for it. Yeah. And I fully intend to be here for more, like for another 20 days cuz I want to make sure I have lots of money for when I want to bomb the absolute hell out of all of these minotaurs with lightning. <laughs> Those bulls are dropping a hell of a, a hell of a lot of money for your heroes too. It's like 200 a shot. Damn. Yeah, they they have you rolling in it. Uh, speaking of rolling in it. <laughs> Trolls. Troll.avi. Ah, oh, dear. That's all right. This is like, this is this is where I really started to get fond of Paladins because they have just been MVPing defense on this map all this time. You know, up there with the Wizards Towers for sure. Yeah, the the Wizards Towers just they take so much pressure off the, the, this this level just because you don't have to individually deal with every freaking dude. Don't do it! No, don't! Uh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was kind of like a very brief decision. I was like, oh, I'll buy an elf. I don't think I actually get any others. I can't remember. I, I love I love that elf's epithet, though. The debauch. Yeah, it was like of all the ones I could pick out, that was probably the best selection. Now, this is another good idea. If I'm if I'm going to be having paladins running around, let's get the healer on because at the very least, this is going to make this is going to make the terror that is the minotaurs a little more bearable. God, blessing is so good. The level two spell it it basic it basically increases all of their offensive and all of their defensive stats, and it only costs one hundred gold. It's so good. The other bonus of the uh, of the healers is that if uh, if a minotaur runs towards the heal <laughs> the healers guild uh, the temple, sorry, then at the very least, uh, all my healers will be able to tank it and distract the minotaurs for ten forevers. Yeah. It's amazing how much they can heal tank. Your paladins are just on constant murder duty. Mm -hmm. It's good. Get get them higher level. Holy crap! Need to get them higher and higher level. <laughs> you 
can you can not have a, a too high level paladin. Except this, for the rogue skill. No one ever cares about the rogue skill. <laughs> Am I doing the statue again? No. I felt better off it this time. Thank God. I was like, why do I even keep? Why do I keep doing that? Uh, apparently, all of us are dedicated to making sure that you know our our shit looks good. <laughs> just, just want it to look pretty. Also, like a big up to the big up to the paladins. Uh, no, sorry, big up to the peasants. I should say because they don't work in their backsides off too. Holy crap! <laughs> no joke. Oh, look at them. <laughs> that elf took uh, took all of a quarter second to figure out she wanted to attack that evil castle. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this. Uh, there could be a dead elf, so yeah, you're right. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this. <laughs> This is actually a difficult decision. Did I want Heli or Lunard? And uh, I eventually decided to have the ones that were gonna like stick around the base. Yeah, Lunard would have been a really weird decision just because your primary enemies hit so freaking hard. You want somebody who can take that sort of heat. Hold your Majesty, tax collector. Rip the monk. Also, rip those elves. Yep, those bungalows are going down. Nothing of value was lost. And, uh, no one in the kingdom cares. It's time to get my sunny ladies out. Are all of your peasants female? Um, yeah, apparently. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder. That's, uh, that's just random chance. Your Highness! The dwarves are offering to move into our domain. <laughs> I love that bark. <laughs> the instant the, the 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 elves get murdered, your highness, the dwarves are offering to move in. Hmm. Sounds sounds like a better idea now that we've gotten rid of our uh, our elven problem. <laughs> yeah, stop stop bashing my house, you jerk. At this point, it's just a matter of, a matter of freeing up the paladins so they can go get work done. Yeah. Well, oh god. The, uh, the priestesses of Helia will, uh, yep, here we go. <laughs> the heal tanking begins! Oh my god. Oh <laughs> wait, they actually not, got not, killed. Not, not as efficiently this time, though. You're only level one. Well, good luck killing you. She's got four lives. She'll be able to last for a little longer until, like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> healers are hilarious, I love them. This Minotaur is just like, what is even happening here? <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> what is even? <laughs> They're getting so many levels out of this. One of you needs to die. Uh, which means they last even longer. It's like, can, can someone please go over and take care of the Minotaur? Please, thank you. <laughs> like, my healers are working at it, but... Nah, they got this covered. Have they done any damage to it? Also, I am I'm quite fond of that one paladin. I've put a bounty reward of like 1,500 gold on the other castle, and she's like, "No, I think I'm going to hit this one for free." I'm in the area. I might as well I might as well vandalize a few things while I'm here. Also, it looks like the it looks like that um, that ranger decided to do a, do a little bit of public service because your healers are freed up. Yep. And now like level seven. Holy crap. <laughs> yep. All it took was one Minotaur, <laughs> one dumb Minotaur, and my healer's just flexing now. That is insane. Insanely awesome, but... Healing light. <laughs> there you go, that's how you, that's how you power level your, uh, your healers. Oh, man. One dumb ball. One, he one healer, level two, LFG, three more healers. <laughs> <laughs> An entirely unnecessary upgrade, but at this point, it's just like fuck it. That, that's always the moment I kind of like in these in these missions, where you kind of hit that tipping point where you've got too much money, and it's just like, all right, I'm just gonna go around up upgrading everything because freaking reasons at this point. Yeah, and I really want everyone to go over and and take care of that. So, so we're we're sending we're sending everyone in force, cash, cash, dollar, dollar. Let's let's end this. And you can see uh, there's like already some dots just going full speed ahead. Zoom! 
<laughs> all, all of the Helians. That is fantastic. Yeah, they know they know a good a good deal when they see it. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Oh. I really, I really get worried every time I see myself hovering over upgrade because I'm like, no, you don't need to do that. <laughs> Just wait, because you're going to need the money. You're really going to need the money. So, did can someone please tell these werewolves this is a Minotaur map? Like, what even? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Apparently, apparently they're like being contracted out or something. For a minute there, I thought that was a gravestone for one of one of your Helians, but then it was, then it turned out that you know it was just bad camera angle. They went up like three levels too, thanks to that will. So I suppose I can't be too mad about it. <laughs> Notice I haven't actually built any wizards either. <laughs> I support. <laughs> I support this idea of yours. <laughs> well, screw that guy. He's, he's just chilling. <laughs> Let Agrella help, she says as she watches. <laughs> she watches the bull die in horrible agony. Of light. Oh my god, now they're at level 7. Just. I forgot I forgot all of my heroes just got so big for no good reason at all this mission. Man, I, I'm kind of hope, uh, hoping that that one uh, paladin goes champion. Oh dear, well. we are victorious, your that's majesty. it. Oh, I thought it swarmed me with Minotaurs. Oh. No, I, I didn't have the heart to correct you this time. <laughs> Oh dear. One can feel your subjects' rising spirits since the recovery of the crown. Your servants have transformed that tarnished artifact into a gleaming prize. The villagers are already lining up at the gates, hoping to get a peek at this revered relic. There is no doubt that it will serve as an inspiring touchstone for your rule. <laughs> the next mission is... My liege! Someone has lost the fucking crown again! <laughs> Bloody hell! Thank god, no. It, it manages <laughs> to stay where, uh, where it freaking is. But the next one uh, the next one does ha uh, have us going after an even more badass like thing here. In that it's called Brashnard Sphere of Ultimate Power. Quest for the Pimp Cup. <laughs> That's not grandiose. And you're probably you're probably getting it for some inane reason. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that is that is, that does it for the uh, for the advanced missions. And from here on in, you have to display some real mastery over one or more aspects of the game to move forward from here. Because now now the game's just like okay, you're trained up. Now you're gonna you're gonna figure out what it is to be king, and it ain't all good to be king. So my missions are gonna take three hours at a piece, and I'm the one who's going to have to edit them. You asshole! Ha <laughs> ha! I will never get those hours of my life back. <laughs> <laughs> well, or we'll never get the the hours of his life back, having spent playing the either, So I think. I it's mean, like I a, enjoyed it. <laughs> it's a fair deal. I mean, I mean, let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, the real winner here is me. I haven't lifted a finger. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> we hate you so much, you know. I, I don't even do my research before I turn up to the episode anymore. I've, I've gotten there something wrong pretty much every single episode. You have. <laughs> yeah, in fact, we, like, I, we've even edited out me getting the next episode uh, missions wrong as well. Yeah, I did do that once. <laughs> I was just like, next time we're gonna be doing this. I go, no. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop making stuff up now, and no one will know if I am intentionally Here come wrong. the aliens. I, so on that note, we'll see you all in uh, three weeks' time uh, with the next episode of Let's Play Majesty Two. I've been, uh, I've been off. I've been cool guy. And I've been the last Robokai. I should apologize uh, for you being me. See y'all later, folks. It's not actually gonna be three weeks. <laughs>